Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel and today we are ready to bring you another match from the Elite Classic between the players I am Magic and you in Metal this is a best of 5 and it is the third game in this set so if you want to know how the result is, how the score is, go watch the previous videos on the channel and this is hosted by EGC TV, so make sure to catch them live on Twitch every weekend and catch me live on Twitch every day as well using the links in the description down below. So right now we have UE Metal playing in the blue, in the color blue, playing as the French. And then we have I am Magic playing the Chinese in the color teal. So this is actually a matchup that can be very interesting because early on French have an advantage over the Chinese. But later on, the Chinese have an advantage over the French. So let's see how these players approach, especially when Chinese go for the second TC. It gives some time for the French player to build a good mess and then be aggressive early on in the game. Good ship collection from our Chinese player. Also, the French player grabbing good chip. The map is Lipany, and you know how Lipany is. Sometimes he has some weird spawns. But here we have very fair sacred side spawns. Three relics in the middle, one for each player. And that's it. That's all. It's good, brother. We metal coming in. Looking for more ship. Do you have ship under your TC? No, we went for the deer. Okay. It's, it's not the first player that I see doing this in this tournament, actually. Where they go as the French immediately for the deer, for a very early uh, survival technique as well, so they can gather that deer faster. And then they just spend a lot of time with their scout looking for sheep. And then they can have a lot of food and more knights early on. On the Chinese side... The Imperial Supervisor supervising the meal, collecting those taxes. Feels good to be a China player, right? Oh, the thing is, yeah, I just remembered that there is actually a composition that goes very well into the French. Oh no, what? It's the Chamber of Commerce! This is a surprise! Okay, so will you metal play second TC as well? Or will just go for that early trade? That's actually very interesting. Now, saying that uh, there is a Chinese composition that can go very well against the French, which is Spear Zuganu. It's very hard for the French to stop because the Spear take care of the Knights and the Zuganu take care of the Archers that possibly the French player will build. Oh, is this villager going for a market? I think it is. Oh, but he will not be able to put the market like here. If he wants the max the best trade route, he has to put the market like here. That's still a lot of sheep for UE Metal, ready to deliver. Remember, he's now on the deer. And he's going for a wheelbarrow. He's going for a wheelbarrow. I love that French economical approach, because then you can always go into knights and do good damage while your economy is actually pretty good. But on the other side, you have Chinese economy, supported by the Imperial officials. They can go for those upgrades super fast, and then they get paid to get certain upgrades because they receive a certain tax which sometimes is more than the cost of the upgrade depending on the upgrade still on the deer that will be a lot of food not enough food to drop a stable though so no early aggression that will give a lot of time for the chinese player to do whatever they want and if that happens they can outset you they can upset the french player for sure Villagers going for the Barbican on the double deer pack. Great move, great spot from Magic. I really like this one. Great move. Really good. I 
I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this position near the cliff near s some wood lines as well n near a lot of deer can kind of protect that stone or nah 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 it's not viable a knight can come in and just pick up that <laughs> ah wait he chopped down some trees so it fits and then he makes a wall but then you're tra oh, you make a wall here in the gate and then the traders just go song dynasty activated there we go barbican of the sun beautiful spot now killing the deer making sure they don't they don't go like here wait what are you shooting at barbican just shot at something maybe it was a wolf i don't know do we see stable stables coming in five minutes maybe it's a bit late right first night coming after six minutes where usually it comes right after you age up let's see how the game's how the game flows already two traders and remember those traders are for free for every upgrade that the fringe get they got the free trader when they choose the chamber of commerce right so those are free traders actually right keep and remember they also produce villagers faster and our chinese player they are not going for a second tc so now they have the song dynasty they build villagers one second faster than our french player so i think this advantage will be maintained if no villagers are lost wait wait magic killed seven villagers wait really i didn't realize that and magic and new metal is still ahead when did that happen when did magic kill seven villagers i know my bad that was the value my bad bro i was like what that, no my bad that was the destroyed value was seven i don't know what he destroyed but what he destroyed was valuable valued at seven <laughs> gg bro <laughs> aye aye let's go Oh, good shot from the TC. Two spears now running, making those knights running away. Archer hitting the field from the French player as well. Pretty sure some Zuganu. Yeah, Zuganu coming out. And now it gets complicated for the French player, right? Because your knights go down for the spears, and your archers will go down for the Zuganu. And what do you do in this situation? You go castle, build a manganel, uh, add so many towns into your composition. There's a lot of spears, six spears on the field. More coming. So this is great for the Chinese player. Signs for a second TC. French player collected some stone. No, second TC is already there. I like this approach though. These, these will allow you in a few minutes to have way more units than the Chinese player, but not for right now. 14, 15 units coming out for the Chinese player. Nine spears, three horsemen, three Zuganu, and one scout. Let's go. That's the full army. Oh, those walls are not completed. The traders are exposed. Uh oh, it was it was almost a good work, Yui. We metal, also known as H4. It was almost a great work. If you if you do close this wall, you'll be in a great position. But now your trade is being attacked. You don't have a lot of units to attack with or to defend with. And you're on a second TC though, being French that produces villagers faster. So. That, that, that economy, economical side is good, but you're losing your traders, and they were for free, they were so nice. Oh, I thought he would wall here, but he did not. Alright. Yeah. Knight, a knight goes down, traders going down, Yui Metal doing a great work, and killed three villagers. Yui Metal lost three villagers, now only four villagers ahead. 
That stuff. That stuff. He has some archers here now, but Tozugunu will obliterate the archers. Good fight over here. Archers taking down the spears. Knights can take care of the horsemen. Pretty chill. If the archers kill the spears, that's fine. How many traders do we have? Zero traders. Do we have zero traders? So that's... Yeah, he, bro, he killed six traders there. Or five, five traders and one wheel or something. Great damage there. Great damage. Okay, good defense from Yui Metal. Do you, he will make more traders. Yes. I don't know if he went for more economical upgrades, but he's going for traders. Bro, you can go for these two upgrades. I got two free traders. You can go... Oh, no. That's later on. Oh, Zuganu here in the front line. We'll take down that knight. Archer's in a bad spot. There is nothing to take care of. Oh, there's not, nothing to take those uh, spear down. Archer's in the back line there, though. We'll be able to take care of the, of the, of the spears. Zuganu goes down, but kills a villager. Great work by that Zuganu. Shout out to them. It's a lot of spears here. It's a lot of... You need more archers. They have the range attack. No range defense. No. No, no, that, no that's melee defense. My bad. Yeah, you need more. If you... you the UE, UE metal needs more archers. Way more. Because the problem right now is not the Zugunu, it's the Spears. Because the Spears kill the Knights, and then, then or do a lot of damage to the Knights, and then they can't finish the Zugunu. Right. The Zugunu just going crazy, look at this. But the Knights now are available. Go, 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 kill, kill the Zugunu. You can do it, you can do it, Knights. No chivalry, for, right? Yeah, because no School of Cavalry. I don't know, but you can go for... Can you still go for chivalry without School of Cavalry? We have to wait and see if they heal. I think you can, right? Okay, good good army for magic. Now going with the range damage upgrade. Doing more damage with those Zuganu. And that's perfect for Zuganu because Zuganu, they, th they, they throw three projectiles each volley. So when you research that upgrade, you're actually giving them plus three per attack, right? It's crazy. The knights are not healing. Are they still quote unquote in combat? Yeah. Villager lead now building for you in metal. Ten villagers ahead. He also got some traders. Uh, one to be exact with you guys. One trader. Hey, better than zero. Especially if it was for free, right? Uh, I think you could do full map trade. I know it's harder to wall, but your enemy is very focused on the middle. Oh, knight, uh, Morseman go in, they take care of some archers. Oh, those knights are in such a bad position. It's too many spears, bro. Uh, okay, spears for us to go back. Knights can do damage now. The spears come back in. No, 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 no. Spears killing the knights, bro. Oh, that feels bad. That feels bad for the knights. They go down. Only two knights left. Villagers going down as well. Archers going down. Now the Zugunu will just clean everything. Getting villagers. More villagers go down. Ooh. I magic already got 14 economical units. You metal in a bad spot. And his villager lead was lost right there. Oh my god. And... With that said, I Magic is going Castle Age with the Astronomical Cloud Tower, cementing even more his advantage, advantageous position. Villagers moving on to the edge of the map, away from the eye of Magic and the Chinese Empire. These villagers are also running away. But they will be caught. They will be caught. I'm pretty sure. 
Night's running out. Villager is being caught by the horseman. Knight hitting the field now, ready to do some damage. Spear is taking care of the knights, Zugunu in the back supporting. Villagers still being chased by two horsemen. More villagers being chased over there. Yeah, this is a very, very bad position for Yui. He needs some very good raids with the knights. Now Lancer is coming out from our Chinese player. He has a big army of Zugunu and Spears there. Oh no, they are indeed healing. They have chivalry. They stopped heal. They stopped healing. But they why? Why, why? why they stop healing? Because he commanded them to attack or something? It gotta be. Knights looking for a raid. There is space there. They enter the back line. Nice. They'll get some villagers. Feels good. Nice work. But Lancers come in. Ready to defend. These knights need to find more kills to bring Yui back to the game. Back at Yui's base. The trade line is now exposed. That does not feel good. That does not feel good. Okay, good. F ah, no. The spears, bro. The spears just destroy the knights. Or leave them like half HP. And then the Zuganu finish them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's GG, bro. It's really, really tough for Yui to come back. The Zugnu are now veteran. Doing even more damage. Knights running away. They got some villagers. They got 7 kills. But it's not enough. Because you lost 24 military units. Some of them were traders, I know. But a lot of them were villagers as well. GG gets called. I knew it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to catch me live on Twitch. Make sure to catch this event live on Twitch. And I'll see you on the next time. Stay Cloud Surfer, surfing out.